What's happening everyone? I am Kanjin Solo. Welcome to another Pokemon Go video. Today I want to talk about the next community day which is going to be Swinub. I know this was something that a lot of players were not expecting, especially with the pattern that they've been going with for the last several Pokemon Go community days. We really thought we would get a 10 kilometer egg Pokemon this time, possibly Trapinch, which would have been hilarious, or it could have been uh, Routes. I think a lot of people were thinking it was going to be Routes, but it turns out Niantic wants to give us Swinub, and the big emphasis of this community day is with the Sinnoh Stones, because Swinub, it will also be able to evolve into Mammoth Swine from Pile of Swine. So, I'm really curious to see how this will end up. I think a lot of players were just a little bit downcast because of the Feebas event that we just had. And I thought this was very interesting, mainly because with the Feebas event, the way that it went, you would think that they would come up with something safe, something big, like a Routes Community Day, and then have Gallade kind of coincide with that but they took a big risk and honestly i think it's starting to pay off because there is somewhat of a big hype for swine up i think for a lot of players they just wanted to get the taste of the feebas event out of their mouth and this could potentially do it i don't know if there's going to be any other events that's going to coincide with the swine up event i think something that would be really cool is if they do something like an ice event of some sort so that for every swine up you catch you can get bonus stardust so it can coincide with that because they've been doing a really good job with past community days of having the community days coincide with an event like for example the totodile community day actually coincided well with the hatchathon event because of course we got quarter distance for egg hatching so it was a really great time for you to hatch eggs even though in my area it was a blizzard and winter snowstorm so i was not able to walk as much as i could but yeah i really like the idea of them coinciding these community days with in-game events so hopefully they'll do that here let's actually take a look at the in-game news post so that we have all of the details for this community day so here we go Mark your calendars for February Community Day featuring the ice and ground type Pokemon Swinub during the third weekend of February. So that is going to be February 16th through the 17th, depending on what region you're in. We'll get into that. Check out the details below. Here we go. Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and India is going to go up first. As they've been doing lately, they're going to be getting theirs at February 16th, 2019 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. UTC, which is GMT0. So plan accordingly to that. I don't know exactly when UTC GMT0 is for a lot of different players, but depending on where you are at, you should be familiar by now when your community day typically starts. So there you go. The Americans in Greenlands will be on February 16, 2019 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, GMT8. So this is very similar to every other community day. So for me in the Midwest, it's going to be from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then for Asia Pacific, February 17th, which is going to be the next day, from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. JST, which is GMT plus 9. So, interestingly enough, they haven't switched anything up. They haven't extended the community day in any way. I know this is something that a lot of players have been giving feedback regarding, like the three-hour time window as a little has been a little bit unforgiving. So, people have been wanting Niantic to extend the window a little bit. Doesn't seem like they're going to be doing it for this community day, but they might in the future. So keep that in mind. The features. Swine Up will appear more frequently in the wild. Lure modules will last three hours for the duration of the event. Very standard. Now this is very interesting. For the first time, using a Sinnoh Stone to evolve Pilo Swine during or up to one hour after the event to obtain a Mammoth Swine that knows a special move. Now, this is something that's very interesting because Sinnoh Stones haven't really played into Community Days up until now. This is going to be the first time that Sinnoh Stones are going to play into a Community Day Pokemon, which means that doesn't matter how much candy you have, you may be limited in how many Mammoth Swines you end up getting. So you really need to pick and choose which Mammoth Swine you're going to want to evolve into with Sinnoh Stones being so limited. And of course, during this event, and this is kind of like a little bit of a bonus, you will be getting five Sinnoh Stones from Trainer Battles during Community Day. So not the day of, but 
actually, if you were to do five trainer battles during community day, like during your community day hours, you will get five guaranteed Sinnoh stones. Now this has been somewhat confirmed from Niantic, but you will be able to get five rewards during that day. So if you don't necessarily care about the Sinnoh stones, you can get five battles out of the way before community day starts and you will get five rewards as opposed to three. Now this is a big deal because if you do not have Sinnoh stones, I really think this is your best opportunity to get them. Like I said, if you do these five trainer battles during the community day, you will be guaranteed five Sinnoh stones. So keep that in mind. And you will also be getting a three times catch Stardust bonus. So like I said earlier, it'd be nice if they had some kind of event coincide with it, but it looks like we may not even necessarily need that. So what are my thoughts regarding this community day? Well, I actually like the direction that they're going. They're switching it up a little bit. I've said this in the past before, but I really like the idea of them changing the formula every so often. We kind of saw that with the EV community day, although EV was technically originally a 10 kilometer egg Pokemon, but we really didn't expect it to ever become a community day. And, and fortunately, for us it actually did end up becoming a community day one of the best ones in my opinion and of course that's also because we had two of them in one weekend which I really think Niantic should implement I really like the idea of there being two community days per community day as opposed to just one but that's just me but in any case yeah, so I love it when they switch up the formula like this. I'm really excited for Swine Up because Mammoth Swine is definitely a meta relevant Pokemon. And depending on what move it gets for its exclusive move, it could be extremely good for raid battles and PvP. And honestly, the ideal situation is that it gets an ice type quick move or an ice type uh, charge move that's really strong. And then you could use that to possibly even solo Rayquazas with a full team of six Mamoswines. That is definitely something that is a possibility if Mamoswine gets a really nice ice type exclusive move. So yeah, make sure you save up your high IV swine nubs. I think once this current event is over, Tyla Swine may might make a return to raid battles and if he does i definitely suggest going out and doing as much of those as you can because raid battles are a very nice source of high iv pokemon and if you really want a lot of high iv mammoth swines that might be your best bet. So I really suggest you go out and doing pile of swine raids if they come back. So yeah, at this point, there's no telling how this event is going to go. The Sinnoh stone aspect of it is going to be very interesting. It could be very frustrating for some players. It could be extremely awesome for other players because I think a lot of players at this point who have been consistently PVPing, they've been stocking up on Sinnoh stones and they don't know what to do with them. But now it looks like they're giving us a reason to hold on to those Sinnoh stones and I really like that. I personally have a lot on hand. I think I have about eight or nine and I would like for that to be around close to 20 by the time community day shows up, but that's all gonna be up to the RNG of the rewards. But yeah, if you have Sinnoh stones stock up, I would suggest holding on to them until this community day because Sinnoh stones are not necessarily frequently obtained. So you want to have a good amount in case you have a whole bunch of shinies that you want to have with that special move or even high IVs because Sinnoh stones, like I said, it's not like we're gonna have 50 or 60 by the time this community day rolls around. So it's gonna be very interesting that you will have to pick and choose and not just drain your candy evolving as much as you can, which is something that I tend to do with every community day. I tend to just evolve as many of the shinies as I can. I tend to evolve as many of the high IVs as I can. And that is mainly because of trading. I want to have a whole bunch of shinies with those special moves on hand in case I were able to trade for a really nice shiny or another, another nice legendary. I don't know really why, but yeah, it looks like I won't be able to do that this time around because I will be required to pick and choose which I'm okay with. I'm really curious to see what people think about this community day. Like I said, from what I've seen on social media, from what I've seen on Reddit, this has been received very positively. And I'm really curious to see what people think. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this community day. Are you excited about it? Is shiny mammoth swine something that you're after? I'm very curious to know what you think about the sin of stone thing as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video folks and if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me and share this with your friends. I am Kao Jinsula and I'll catch you all later.